Hello everyone and welcome back to my channel. Today I'll be teaching you how to make T-Rex jump or you can call it as a dino game or a chrome game. Why chrome game? You all must have seen like when your internet is running slow or when you don't have internet, so you see a dino game. There's a dino and the obstacles come and the dino has to jump over the obstacles. So that game we can make in scratch and today I'm going to show the full tutorial how to make that game. So you can see if it is touching that obstacle, it is showing game over. Let's play it again. And Dino has to jump like this. And your scores will increase. So this is my account for Scratch. Let's go to create and loan this project. In this project, we are going to develop a T-Rex game or a Chrome game. The platform we are going to use is the Scratch platform. We need two sprites in this project. One is Dino Sprite and other is Cactus Sprite. You can make a cactus or a rock. Both will work. And in the backdrop, we will be making five backdrops. And the objectives of this game. First, you will be learning how to introduce variables and messages. What is the function of variable and messages? There will be introduction to conditional statements and loops. And this project will help the student to build complex problem solving, the design thinking, decision making, creativity and cognitive flexibility. All these skills will be developed in the students. Okay, now without wasting time, let's make the project. So first we need Dino Sprite. Yes, we need a Dino Sprite. So here I'll delete this Sprite and we'll go to choose a Sprite and we'll search here for Dino. But if you see dino available sprites in the scratch, see, these are not the dinos which we have in Chrome game. You can take these also and you can work with the project. But if you want to make the same game as it is we see in the Chrome, then you have to take that dino sprite. How to get that sprite? Let's just see it. Just go to Google. In that, just write Chrome game dino. Click enter. Then click on images and scroll down. You can search for your Dino Sprite. Like here, what will happen if you download the Sprite from here? You will get the Sprite with the backdrop. You need a transparent image, like a PNG image for the Dino. How to make this happen? Just go to settings, click on advanced search. Scroll down. There's a transparent option. Just choose this transparent option and then click advanced search. So it will give you a transparent image. What you can do, you can just download any sprite. I'm just choosing this one and just click on save image as. Choose desktop and name it as Dino and save it. Now we need cactus sprite for the Dino. So just let's you download the another sprite, Chrome Game Cactus. And do the same thing with this also. Just go to Advanced Search, make it transparent, and then click on Advanced Search. And from there, you can download any sprite. Let's just say I'm going to choose this one. And just go to here, Save Image As, and then make it. It is already Cactus. Okay, so this is done. After that, just go to choose a Sprite. Oh, you don't need to choose a Sprite. You need to upload a Sprite here. Just go to upload a Sprite. You have saved it in desktop. Just go there and search for your Dino. It is there and just open it. So see, it has imported Dino and it is without backdrop as it is the image we wanted. And see, I don't want these lines which are next to Dino Sprite. So what you can do, you can just go to costume and it will give you an eraser option and just erase the extra part which you don't need. So you can erase it like this. This will be erased from the stage as well. You can see in the picture. So now it is clear without lines. Let's just reduce the size and make it 40. So now the dino is small, let's keep it here. Now what we need next, we need a cactus. So go to upload a sprite again. 
and there is your cactus just choose it and click open and let's just first decrease the size let's make it 60 okay let's just make it 40 so now it is small okay i'll keep this sprite to the extreme right side okay like this now there is when you go to costume there is only one costume for the cactus so what you can do in this case you can just make more costume just right click and duplicate these four times and now let's just edit them just click on cactus three okay we don't need this arrow now just choose one you can either do it, delete it or copy and paste it. And you can erase the extra part like the dots are with the cactus. So you can erase them also to give it a nice effect. Let's do the same thing with the first cactus also. I'm not going to delete anything because it will act as the original sprite. Okay, so cactus two is ready. The costume for cactus, this cactus is also ready. Let's just remove this thing. Okay, now for this one, what you can do, you have just, you can just click on copy and paste. So it will come up like this. You can make it small. Just choose again. Okay, make it small. Drag them next to them. What you can delete, you can just delete it and duplicate the first one. Okay. Yeah. So now they are all set. Let's just select them. Copy, paste, decrease the size, keep them in the center. Okay. So now our costume three for the dino is ready. And what about this cactus one? Let's just make more small cactus next to it. Okay, let's just do, uh, yeah, we have to do this for this thing. Uh, we can just do it flip horizontal and then we can copy and paste. Lot many things we can do in a scratch. You can keep this here next to it. And you can just move it close to the first one. Okay, now all set. So this is, these are four costumes available for the cactus and we just have made them. So you can paint the sprite, you can make a sprite in the scratch by this way. So our, both the sprite, uh, sprites are ready, like cactus and dino are ready to work. Now, what about the backdrop? You have seen the backdrop was running. So how to make that backdrop? Okay, let's just do it. Now for this thing, we are not going to choose a backdrop. We are going to paint a backdrop. So just go to this thing, just reduce it so that you can see the whole stage, like how much the whole length. And you can just go to choose a line. You can increase the outline width and make a straight line here. Like this. Okay, after making a straight line, you need to draw small lines inside. You must have seen in the game in the starting that there were lines. So you have to make a straight lines like this, which looks like the road lines. So I'm making them faster so that you can see it. And you can also copy the same thing and make your game. So here we are learning how to make a backdrop. So I have made these lines like this. Just try to make a straight line, not the tilted ones, yeah. Now what you can do, you can just go to backdrop and you can duplicate the next backdrop. You can add more lines to it because there should be some difference in the backdrop one in the backdrop two. So we are going to make five backdrops like this. So this is your backdrop two. Okay, now just duplicate the backdrop again and add more lines to it, add different positions. 
Now you can make the small one or the long one. It's all up to you, like what type of code you want for your dyno. We are just making changes in the position so that it looks like it is running. You can duplicate the backdrop one again and you can make different lines this time at different positions. Like this. Yeah, make more lines. Okay, so now this is it. Now I have made this thing and add more line here and just add a small line to it. Okay. So I have made these lines, the straight lines are here. These are five backdrops which I have made. Like this one, this one you can see. So when they will come up together, so it will look like they are moving. Now you just need to duplicate one more backdrop. And I'm going to name it as game over backdrop. So that I can remember the name. Yeah, that's one is my game over backdrop. And just write the text over here. I'm going to select the font to be the pixel and the color to be the black. Just drag the circle and now the color is black. Just click on it, type a text called game over. Click one time on the screen, it will give you a large option. Yeah, so then you can make it big like this to indicate game over. So it is game over now. So our backdrops are ready, our sprites are ready. Now let's just move towards coding part. So now our backdrop is ready, sprite is ready. Everything is ready here. Now let's do the coding. So just click on Dino. Okay, we'll fix the backdrop again. Let's just choose the first backdrop. Just go to backdrop and click on first one. Now you can code for the Dino. Go back to code. Now keep the Dino above the line like this. Okay, and now keep the cactus. And keep the cactus. Cactus is there. Uh, you need to just find it out again where the cactus is gone. Okay, let's make it 216 so that you can see the cactus. Yes. And keep the cactus here. Okay, so now the cactus is set, dino is set, let's do the coding. So first, just learn here that we are going to make two variables. I told you in my first tutorial also like what is a variable? Variable is like an entity which can hold some information. It's like a container who is going to hold some information. So first variable I'm going to make is of score. And the second variable will be for the dino life. So how many life will be? dino having so dino will be having only one life and after that game will be over so i will drag it on this side and will keep the score here and let's just name the game it's untitled here let's just name it as t rats jump or you can say a chrome game Okay, now let's just start coding. So first I'm going to events and I will choose when green flag clicked. Why we are taking this block? Because green flag is like a start button for the game. Green flag is like an action because events are what? Events are actions that causes something to happen. So I want my code to run. And I here I have placed the dyno to be here. Now the location of the dyno on X is minus 179 and on Y is minus 140. It is minus 45. So I need to fix this location for the dyno so that whenever I press the green flag, my dyno should be always here. So let's just go to motion and choose go to XY and drag it here. So go to XY means that whenever the green flag is clicked at X, Dino will be here and at Y, Dino will be at minus 45. You can also test the code, drag the Dino anywhere and let's just see whether it will come to this position or not. See, when I press the green flag, Dino is here only. So I have set the location for my Dino. And now, as you know, we have given the score to be zero. So just go to variables and set the score to zero. 
click on dino life make it score click uh, choose again set dino life how many life we are giving to our dino we are giving only one life so make it one so now this is set after that we need to move the dino okay we need to move the dino like from here from the top it should jump it should jump with which key with the up arrow key it's all up to you like you want to use up arrow key or the space key it's all up to you just go to events and now choose another event the second code when space key pressed you can use the space key or you can use the up arrow key just click on up arrow make it yes now let's just see uh, uh, if you remember i have told you that for y axis the vertical line for up it is plus y and for down it is minus y so when you have to move up and down it should be y line y coordinate and when you have to move left and right it should be x line the x coordinate now the dino is jumping up and down because we want to make this like because we want to make this code dino has to jump up and down like this okay so what is this up and down up and down is y line y coordinate so now just go to motion and choose this code glide one second and drag it here what is minus 170 let's just make it minus 179 because i have moved the dino so it will must have changed the location so it is going to glide what is glide it is going to move smoothly at this position and we want our sprite to go up how much up from this location like suppose if i want my dino to jump this much so i'll keep my dino here and what is the y here now y is 71 let's just change it to 71 okay so glide one second to this position after going up it should come back after going up it should come back so let's just choose the same code again glide one second drag it here and take the first initial position make it again minus 179 and what is y here minus 45 so that dino can come to the initial position after jumping to y 71 press the green flag use the up arrow key see the dino is jumping and coming down but what is happening dino is jumping really very slow because it is taking one second to glide up and one second to glide down so just click on one and reduce the time limit make it 0 0.15 and here also make it 0 0.15 okay now press the green flag now the dino is jumping faster see and now let's add one control code here wait one second so that after jumping work after jumping up dino can move and wait for how much second let's make it little let's make it 0 0.17 a very short second for the dino to jump up to wait for 0 0.1 second and then to come down press the green flag so it is jumping taking this much time and coming down okay now this is perfect now the dino is gliding perfectly so location is set, dino is gliding. Now let's move to the cactus. Now for the cactus, again, you need to set the location. You need, you need to set the position of the sprite. Go to when green flag clicked. Go to motion, choose the same code, go to X, Y. So whenever you press the green flag, your rock will be there only. Now, after that, let's create one more event. Just go to when green flag click go to control choose forever and inside it put a condition of if because we are going to glide the cactus if dino life is equal to one right at that time only it should glide when dino has one life when dino has no life it should not glide so now just go to for, uh, we have take it a forever loop and if then condition and put a condition inside it the condition take it from the operator just choose this one click on 50 make it one what is the life the life is one go to variable choose this dino life so now the code has become if dino life is equal to one then what is cactus going to do cactus is going to glide 
to go to motion from where you can find your glide so choose glide one second okay and the important thing see the initial position is 228 so cactus is on right side cactus has to glide towards the left side so the value will become negative so you have to make it negative so that it can glide otherwise it will not glide so make it minus 228 so it is going to glide at this position from here it will go here and then it should come back to the initial position so what you can do you can just duplicate this go to x and drag it here so what it is going to do it is going to glide one second and it is going to come back to the initial position see perfect now the cactus is gliding okay stop it cactus is gliding dino is jumping okay by that way you can make it happen perfect and the speed is fine because we need to make the game challenging okay it should be for the player to make it more challenging so that it has to jump faster and to avoid touching to the cactus okay now after that see if the cactus is gliding one time if it glides completely then that means dino is jumping that's why it is gliding one time so when there's one glide there's one glide completed by the cactus you should get a point so here we are using an event called broadcast sorry it's in yeah broadcast message one and what should be the message it should be a point you should get a point when the cactus is gliding so let's just make a message called point so it is going to broadcast point for every sprite what is broadcast broadcast is just a message to communicate between the sprite and the backdrop so for if you want to communicate with the backdrop and the sprite you can use broadcast so after broadcasting point after one glide the first cactus because we have four costumes so we need to use all four costumes so after gliding one time it should get height so just go to looks and choose scroll down and choose height and place it here then go to looks again and choose switch costume because we how many costumes we have we have four costumes for the cactus so how to take four costume go to operators choose pick random keep it inside from one to four so that there can be a random costume there can be any costume costume one two three four any costume can come up from one to four okay how much time it will take to come up just go to control choose wait one second go to operators choose pick random and keep it inside make it zero and on the 10 make it 1.5 so it is going to take from zero to 1.5 second in between these this time limit from zero to 1.5 in between this time limit it can take any random time to bring the next costume like it can take one second or it can take 1.2 second or less than one second from zero to 1.5 it can be anything like it can be any second at any second it can change the costume so that your game will be challenging if you fix the timing then the player will be knowing that after one second costume is going to come the next a sprite uh, of cactus is going to appear so to make it more challenging it should be random like at any time at any fraction of second it can come up and after that because we have taken a height block so it should visible so let's just go to looks and scroll down and choose show from there so now the first part of coding is complete here like when green flag is clicked go to forever if dino life is equal to one glide one second go to the normal position say to the sprite that you are getting point then hide the sprite so that next costume of the cactus can come up how much time it is going to take it is take, going to take from zero to one five second then it is going to visible okay so let's just see is it working or not if the it is costume point or Okay, now just see, is it changing costume or not? 
yeah it is changing costume and it is taking random cycle like it is coming sometime faster or very good nice now you can see the scores are not increasing because the coding for the score is not done yet what you have to do you have to do something because you have broadcasted something so you have to go to events and when you use broadcast so you have to take from the event when i receive so when you are receiving the message call point what should happen the score should change go to variables choose change dino life make it a score so when you receive point it is going to change the score by one let's press the green flag and see it now you can see after one glide it is changing its score now the three jumps are done four jump five six see the scores are increasing dino is jumping perfectly cactus is gliding okay now let's just stop it here now you will see if the cactus is touching dino it is not showing game over so we have to make a code like if cactus is touching dino it should stop the game so let's make another event just go to events choose when green flag clicked go to control choose forever because you want this to happen always inside it put an if then loop and then after that just go to sensing choose touching mouse pointer and make it dino we are coding for the cactus so now it is like if cactus is touching dino if cactus is touching dino then what should happen it should set the dino life to be zero because initially the dino life is one so if the cactus touches the dino the dino life should set to zero so it is going to set the dino life to zero and after that it is going to broadcast another message what is the another message what is another message the another message is game over hey player your game is over now okay so now what is going to happen when green flag is clicked if touching dino set dino life to zero and broadcast message i think it's not saved let's me write it again game over and just click on okay yeah so now it is going to broadcast game over message okay now this is done let's see it is it broadcasting it or not so dino life is set to zero and it is broadcasting game over nothing is going up the dinos is still jumping the cactus has stopped okay now what to do next here what you should do when you receive game over you should hide the sprite so choose when i receive click on message one make it game over go to looks scroll down and hide it so when you will receive game over it is going to hide the sprite do the same with the dino just drag the code like this on the dino dino will also get this hide one and whenever you are using hide always remember to use show so so that after uh, after the game is over when you press the green flag again and when you starts the game again when you start the game again so it can show your sprite so now this is done everything is done now backdrop is not changing we have to do the coding for the backdrop as well so what coding has to be done for the backdrop just go to events choose when green flag clicked go to control scroll down and choose repeat until here we are using repeat until because we are going to give a condition inside it like this backdrop should keep on repeating until the dino life is zero because when the dino life is zero the backdrop should be the game over backdrop otherwise it will keep on changing then choose switch backdrop to make it backdrop one after that it should wait for some time and the time will be 0.1 second for the next backdrop to appear so choose switch backdrop duplicate this code drag it down join the code make it backdrop two we have four backdrops keep doing it like this four times 
make it backdrop three then duplicate it again make it backdrop four and then it will keep on repeating this thing until the dino life is zero when the dino life is zero backdrop should change to game over backdrop make it game over and let's just try this game press the green flag see the backdrop is changing and now what happened the game is over now because the dino has touched the cactus so game is over let's play it again okay it is jumping now the second cactus is coming now the third cactus now the fourth so the costumes are also changing dino is jumping perfectly backdrop is changing now the game is running smooth okay so this is it for today's class for today's video i hope that you all like this video and thank you so much for watching it thank you so much for your learning so keep coding keep practicing and keep making game bye see you in the next video till then take care stay blessed stay healthy bye bye